Right, I can see that I'm going to have to explain this now, having um, yes, well, having put it out there. So normally, uh, computers and laptops uh, run off of hard drives. So this is a fairly typical uh, two and a half inch hard disk that you find in a laptop, uh, and it has things that spin around and it has heads that that move, um, which means two things. From the point of view of me destroying them, uh, one is that uh, if you move the laptop whilst it's accessing the disk it can actually um, destroy it. Modern machines have some clever ways of dealing with that so they sense if you start to move the machine they shut the hard drive down which means uh, in my case as I discovered a few weeks ago if you want a really bad uh, train line that should be unnamed uh, then your um, your laptop freezes up regularly as it's doing that. It also means because the heads have to move around um, to find uh, the data that's one of the things that can make them a little bit slower, although modern hard drives very fast. So anyway, that's one of those. So the alternative to that um, is rather than using a disk drive to use uh, solid state memory. Um, and they look remarkably similar. Uh, the only difference is this is based uh, more on memory chips, um, like you find in the main memory of a computer. So there's no spinny things. You can shake it and do whatever you want with it. You can drop it and it won't break. Um, and also, because there's no moving parts to it, it uses a bit less uh, electricity and um, is faster for uh, things where data is spread around uh, all over the disk. However, these are mighty expensive. Um, large um, SSDs um, that were you know, a, a gig or so, even half a gig, uh, were literally thousands of pounds um, uh, just about a year ago. And they're much cheaper now. I'm recording this on a MacBook Air, which has got 256 gig. SSD um, that was still relatively expensive, a good few hundred pounds. So that's kind of where this comes in um, because most of the time when we see memory chips these days, uh, where they've got really popular, it's obviously in uh, these things digital combat cameras, uh, and we're very used to uh, consumer grade uh, memory that we find in those that's uh, manufactured in huge volumes, which makes it super cheap. Um, However, those, the, the kind of consumer grade memory stuff is not that fast. Um, and if you look at a professional grade camera, um, they'll use compact flash cards for their memory. Bear with me a second here. So compact flash cards, so you might think of as kind of older style camera memory, um, but they're still the professional grade um, because of the way the interface works on them. They're considerably faster. Um, and, and arguably a little bit more reliable, so it's what you'll tend to find in a, in a pro camera. Relatively cheap. This is where this comes in. So um, the set of connectors on this is basically the same as on a laptop hard drive, or at least an old style laptop hard drive uh, that most of my machines have, uh, that I use for development stuff. And basically I can take a relatively inexpensive camera memory card and slot it on there like that it says putting a very confused face there we go like that and then that goes into the laptop replaces the hard disk drive and gives me the equivalent of having an SSD so very very fast drop proof uses less memory and it also means if I want to change the operating system or the data on the laptop I can just slide that out and stick another one of these in uh, and I can you know run down almost anywhere um, and get a an 8 gig uh, 16 gig 32 gig one of these um, and replace it. So that's what that kind of weird looking gadget is. And it also means um, one of my other little hobbies, I can make silent computers with that. Most of the noise from um, a laptop that you hear, if the cooling fans are off, will be the hard disk drive. This, even when it's powered up, uh, doesn't make any noise. So there you go. Now you know what that is. Mystery solved. And uh, I'm going to go and play with it in some, uh, some old laptops that I've got hanging around the place and see what happens. There we go. SSD on the cheap.